Today's podcast is an Amazon journey with Wayne the Wolf Wolford, owner of LensSwap. It's a sunglasses lens replacement company. He's been working with my Amazon guy one and a half years, and I'm excited to share his journey about how he has side hustled his way into an Amazon business. This is the My Amazon Guy podcast. I'm your host, Stephen Pope, founder of the agency My Amazon Guy. Tune in each week to learn how to grow your Amazon sales. I'm now joined by Wayne. Thanks for coming on the My Amazon Guy podcast. What's up there, Pope? Well, uh, Wayne, you're currently a client with us with LensSwap. And um, before we tell your story, how, how is it being a client? Uh, I really love it, man. I was referred to uh, my Amazon guy by um, my accountant and uh, I was really struggling with a lot of things. I mean, I mean, you know, when you, when your ACOS gets away from you and you're just spending money like crazy, man, it just really digs into your pocket. So uh, my buddy Tyler was like, man, you gotta, you gotta talk to Pope, man. You gotta talk to Steve Pope. So, I mean, from day one, it was a, it was a good marriage, a good relationship because I like working with people that I like, you know, Steve, you're down to earth, and uh, even like your your assistants help out really nice, and everyone's real cool and chill. Just and that's what I like to work in that type of environment. So, um, I mean, I, I have been super happy, man. I was just looking back. I was um, talking to one of my um, um, I was talking to one of my coaches, right? I'm looking back at when I first started our relationship, and I'm like, sure, wow, sure. it's been like. It's been over uh, almost a year and a half, right? About that's I think that's right. And yeah, and since sure. and since then we've like tripled in size <laughs> as a company. Right. Been, like, I mean, I got to scale up like you guys, man. I mean, you guys are really growing, man. Well, fastest way to grow on Amazon: add more product. So, right, right. Uh, right, sec- right. Second fastest is spend more on ads. Um, but yeah, so I appreciate the endorsement. It's been a pleasure working with you, Wayne. And in the last week, we recently rolled out with our advertising upgrade uh, called Magads, or short for my Amazon guy ads. And and so I'm really excited to see kind of how that uh, how that helps you and everybody else that's a client at my Amazon guy. We're we're running advertising more frequently now, uh, more frequent updates, more transparency. We're now going to send a copy of the actual bid changes. And we're using macros and some technology behind the scenes to do mass changes with higher goals. So it takes away some of like the uh, uh, uncertainty of like, hey, you're looking at a bid manual and you're like, uh, how much should I go up by? Oh, right. it's 76 cents. Let me get, let me, uh, sure, 79 today. Right? Right. It takes all that out and it's just like, programmed a cost goal change bid by x percent done and does it in mass across the campaign so it's really good that's crazy listen man i don't even know how you do what you do um i was just super impressed man honestly i was i was a little i was a little nervous but i said you know what anyone's got to do this better than me that i'm doing it right now (laughs) i mean like you guys took it to a whole nother level man i mean I, I could not stop talking about you guys when i was talking to tyler i'm like like yo he is doing his thing man he is really He's really, uh, I mean, you guys, I mean, like save, save my business, you know, basically. I mean, I mean, you can really dig yourself a hole if you don't got things, you know, together with your, with your, with your advertisement. That, that's just, that, that can kill your whole business. Well, your, your storyline, of course, is one of, you know, my favorite type of storyline, right? If we can come in and, and take off, make your life easier and also grow your sales and, and, and lower your costs. That's like, Perfect on all the trifecta. Um, cool. So enough about us. Let's talk about lens swap. So tell for, for, for viewers and for listeners who've never heard about your company, what do you do and why do you do it? You know, I started off um, a few years ago when I was actually working the regular job and, and I said, you know what? I, I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to take, you know, you know, my life into my own hands. So I said, you know, I want to do something on the side. So I started, doing something on the side and, and started, you know, growing it off of uh, eBay. And then from eBay, we transitioned to um, Amazon. And, and it was just, it was just a no brainer for me. I'm like, Hey, I get to make these things, send them in and they take care of everything. And that was just a, a dream come true. And I was able to scale it up a lot quicker. Um, so, I, you know, how I got started with my whole entrepreneur 
journey was reading a book called uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. I freaking love that book. Right, man. I love that book. Right. I was, it's that start. And then like when I was, I was actually, I have a, I have a background with doing like selling residential and commercial loans. And I was like 19 years old, man. I just couldn't believe that I was teaching people. I was like twice my age, how to handle their money. But, but moreover, um, I was making about, I don't know, 20 to 50 grand a month at the time, right back in 2005 or six. And I'm sitting there, I have the book in my hands and I'm, I'm on like page three. And then my manager comes over. He's, he said, cookie, he used to call me cookie. I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> and he's like, why are you reading this book, man? It's like, put this garbage down and read it when you, you know, make, make, make a lot of money first then read that. I'm like, yeah, that makes sense, which is retarded because I mean, like when you start making that kind of money at 19 years old, you're just totally blinded. So yeah. I learned to, you don't, you you don't know, up from it. down. Right. So, you know, like um, having a good mentor or, or um, as Robert Kiyosaki would say, you need to build a team, right? Like in business, you got to build a rugby team. You got to build a good team because you're going to go out there and get pummeled. So I'm glad to have you guys a part of the team because Without you, I wouldn't know what the heck I was doing. I mean, like, uh, and there's just so many other things that recently we were talking through email, right? Like what other things you guys can do. And it's like, wow, you guys can do this. You guys can do infographics. You guys can do, you know, help with, you know, uh, listing building. I mean, it's just, it's amazing, man. I'm really, really happy. But anyway, back to like, um, um, so now we're building out other product lines, uh, other brands and stuff like that, you know, because I, you know, I've, you know, like I like Apple phones. Right. And uh, I realize that I'm in love with that type of brand because of what they stand for and what they do and the product they put out. So that's what I wanted to do. Our hope is to do that, put out some, um, some good products that people are in love with and that they'll come back to buy, you know, that's, uh, and then uh, in turn, you know, um, when you help people get what they want and you get what you want. So we're looking um, to have uh, good customer loyalty and it's going to bring in some cash flow so we can fund other ventures we want to do. Um, and I think that's a great way to do it. Um, right. So, so tell me a little bit about like what lens swap is though. Like talk to me about the lenses and the, and the glasses and how you came up with that. Right. It's just, I mean, it, it was nothing fancy about it, man. It's just like, it doesn't have to be right. Actually, I mean, so somebody's, like, somebody's got to sell the plungers of the world. Right. So, right, right, right. I mean, honestly, man, if we were just looking to make a dollar, but you know how we came up with even with the name, it was just like, I was on a sales call and I remember hearing someone said, yeah, you know, just to like a lens swap. I'm like, that sounds like a good name. And I just, <laughs> I just with that, man. I mean, I just, I wanted to put out like, I, you know what I realized one of the lenses that we have is a, it's a, it's a dark black, like limo tint lens. And a lot of the lenses I would get would be a lot of the lenses I would get for like my sunglasses wouldn't be, um, more polarized. I mean, polarized, polarization is not like a big deal to me, honestly, because I, I prefer tinted lenses for my, my glasses, unless I'm like fishing. Because if, you, if you're in like any car, of like 2013 and up, if you go to, if you have polarized lenses on, you're looking at your, your, your dashboard or whatever, everything looks all funny. But anyway, so I wanted to put out a darker lens. So one of the lenses we have, um, they're about a uh, 6% tint, which is considerably dark. And um, I, I noticed for people that have lighter eyes, for some reason, they just have a, a sensitivity to light. And I don't have light eyes, but I mean, my eyes are pretty, pretty dark, but I have a sensitivity of light and I wanted darker lenses. I couldn't find them. So I started making them and people love them, man. Uh, so one of our um, top selling products are like our, our dark black limo tint lenses. So um, and, and then, um, we got into, since we're in like the lenses, we started to get into like ski goggles and sunglasses. So one of our other brands is Saiski. It is a, so my wife is a cycle instructor and I like to snowboard, right? I don't really do it as much as I, I, I would like to, but I said, you know, it'd be cool if I had a sunglass that was a ski goggle. So we came up with Saiski, which is a cycling, you know, ski goggle. And it's a, uh, you know, damn, you know what? Oh, can I, can I go get one and show you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like and I wasn't really prepared for this, obviously, but give me one second. No, you're good. So we'll pit pause here. Well, that was quick. All right. <laughs> yeah, that was so, quick. 
so uh not much snowboarding where you're located i would imagine yeah oh no it's pretty hot here in the south but um i mean i mean i mean uh, there there's some um uh, there's some resorts up in uh like the carolinas you know that you can you can hit up but uh anyway so so these are these are it these are it they're big oversized like kind of retro looking uh sunglass but they're actually they have a a full face foam that that goes in this magnetic insert right here which is pretty cool i grew up in utah and i used to snowboard um or ski rather i'm not a snowboarder and and so um now i live in georgia and and uh i miss the greatest snow on earth from utah but uh yeah so that looks that looks solid that looks like it could protect your eyes and get some uvs away right but not only that like like this is so so they're a sunglass right now right you know i just pulled off the temple this part right here it snaps on and also you can pull it off and you put on um the um the ski goggle strap so you can go from i thought it was pretty cool my wife thought it was pretty corny um but people love them man i really you know it was cool designing them and coming up with the concept and building the brand out so uh, we'll have some different varieties as far as like lens options coming up in the next few weeks and we'll have uh uh, we're throwing in some free stuff and with the Amazon purchase. So um, I'm happy. F- I'm happy for that brand, but I just, right now I like building brands and, and we're hoping what, you know, to exit this. What? Keep, keep going with your exit idea. Yeah. You know, in the next couple of uh, next to 18 to 24 months and then start a new brand. I mean, it's just. Once Serial you get- entrepreneur is what I'm hearing. Right. Right. It's just, it's fun, man. I mean, I really, my, my, my I want to invest. Like I love, and I love investing like stocks and stuff like that. Um, so Asana just had an IPO on the last day of September. Um, and we use Asana. We've been paying attention to their IPO. Really? Yeah. We got to check that out. Yeah. So that one might be interesting to see what happens. Um, <clears throat> cool. So, so you're a serial entrepreneur. I could tell from the storyline you've shared so far. Um, what gets you up in the morning to make you a serial entrepreneur? My kids screaming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. You know, um, you know, like, um, you know, I just, uh, growing up, we didn't really have a lot and I really didn't understand. I, I think there's just hope this misconception with money, man. I mean, you know, like I went to school for business and then I dropped out when I realized that I'm in school that is a business. And I can learn about business without, and I'm not taking, I, I mean, like I think running a business. Yeah. Right, right, right. And I'm like, um, and someone, someone told me, it was like, well, you're going to school for business administration. Like who in their right mind is going to hire you to run their business. And I'm like, I got to get some business under my belt, but I just, I, I realized that I can make, I mean, that when the name of the game is making money, man. I mean, like I'm, I'm talking to my daughter right now, right. I'm like, when you, most adults haven't figured this out, but, you got to get, you got you got to get an idea. You you have to know how to handle money and how to, how money works and, and how to invest. I mean, that's, if you look at the Forbes list, the top hundred, you know, richest people in the world, they don't work for someone. They have their own business, right. And they invest. Yep. So that's, that's what, and that's what wakes me up investing and, 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 uh, and, and growing my wealth and be able to do cool stuff with my family, like just go places, do things and hang out with fun people and just, and live, man, live life instead of just working a nine to five, man. That's well, I, I think, I think that's the aspirational dream of all Amazon sellers, right? Um, now, of course, Amazon is not passive income. So let's talk about some of the trials and tribulations you've had to go through as a business owner, oh, man. whatever, whatever you're willing to share. Oh man, taxes, man. I mean, like, it's just like, it is, you're active. You're really, you're active in this thing. I mean, it's not like you wake up and live the laptop lifestyle and you just kick back. And, um, we, I, I, I hope to, I, I, I that's where I want to go with investing. I mean, you can be, you know, more passive that way, but this is like, you're grinding, man. I remember, I mean, I would, when I was first started off my journey, man, I was, I was working two jobs, pulling about 40, five hours, 48 hours a week with one and then 25 hours over the weekend with other and then having some family time and, and, uh, 
and then I would, I, so I would get, I would go to work. I would wake up at five thirty, six o'clock, go to work, get there by six forty-five, seven, work until about seven, about six thirty, six thirty, and and then come home, see my family for like an hour and a half, and then work on my Amazon business from like nine until like two or three in the morning. Sometimes how, I'll, that's I'll get, a hustle, man. Like, how do you? Get, you didn't get any sleep. You, <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. It was just like. It was, it was, it was tough, man, but it's a little bit easier now, but not, not, not like it was before, man. So, so you mentioned, um, the hustle, the amount of hours you have to put in taxes. Talk to me about business decisions. Tell me, tell me about a mistake you may have made that others can learn from. You know what, you know, uh, you know, it's funny. Uh, Robert Kiyosaki, um, talked about this recently having a mentor, right? So everyone, you have a learning curve, right? And, uh, if you don't have, um, you don't have a mentor or someone that to walk you through your business decisions, then uh, you're going to find out the hard way, man. So got to pay your tax. Right, man. I mean, you, so, you know, I, I was reading this, I think my, my wife showed me something on Instagram, like success is something that you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta pay the full price every day for, for success. So there's no shortcut, yep. you know, there's no discounts for that. And man, you're going to pay if you don't, if you don't, if you don't learn, from a mentor or finding out information yourself, you're going to pay, man. Um, yeah. I remember when, when, when the, the, when we, when I was you back when there was like this whole, remember the whole Wayfair um, settlement? It was like Wayfair and um, versus us, you know, as far as paying taxes, cause online you weren't, you weren't, you didn't have to pay taxes. Remember you have to pay sales tax at one point. I, I know the Supreme Court and a lot of different internet tax stuff has really evolved the last couple of years. It was in gray area for like well over 14 years. It was crazy. Yeah, man. Um, like, that was a big thing. Like, you know, you know, you didn't have to pay sales taxes or you can get it. You can skip around it. Yeah. And, um, so you're talking about the South Dakota versus Wayfair? Right. Exactly. That was 2018. It. Right. So, so how, how did that impact you? I mean, I mean, I ended up paying like I didn't I didn't have to. Like I, I freaking registered like every state, you know, <laughs> and I didn't have to, I didn't have to do a lot of stuff. Now, Amazon is Auto collects over. like 40 of the 50 states now. Right, man. Yeah. It's like I paid, I paid like 40 grand, probably like 25 grand in, uh, you know, in taxes, like, you know, just for, for that, for that time period. Cause I had to file all these retroactive taxes from the time I started selling on Amazon, which is crazy, man. I mean, it's just. Man, that was a that was a kick in the butt. But um, hey, man, it's the price you got to pay. Well, um, <clears throat> good for you for for paying taxes. Uh, but at the same time, not an easy thing to do. So, all right. So you talked about some some challenges. Let's talk about some successes. So you mentioned having a mentor is one of the keys to your success, right. and obviously, your daily grind and effort is clearly why you've been successful, um, as well as your mentality and how you think about things. Give me a couple of business decisions where you've made a good decision that others can learn from you. Um, um, I mean, I, it just really comes down to being tied into you having a, I mean, I, I can't speak enough about having a good mentor. Uh, I mean, one of my, I mean, one of my best decisions, I, I mean, honestly, man, I mean, this is going to sound corny, but like taking, so my accountant, you know, Tyler Jeffcoat, you guys, you know, you, you know. And, and we, by the way, we highly endorse seller accountant with Tyler Jeffcoat. What a great guy. Oh, cool. That dude has sent 12 clients our way. And I think 11 of them are still our clients in the last two years. So like, and we that's true, man. Like, love doing business with that because right. he, he attracts just amazing people like you. And, and it makes, it makes doing business a lot easier when you can work with good people. Right, man. Tyler's on it, man. Like I found, how did I find out about Tyler? That, that's the that's the thing. I mean, I'm not gonna spend too much time doing it. I'm so grateful to have someone like him, because I had my my bookkeeper sucked. Like, <laughs> not hard to find a bad bookkeeper. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, like, man, like she was just had no personality, and I just didn't know what the heck was going on. Tyler came up in there, buttoned up everything, and I and we were looking at the numbers and it was just so cool. When you have someone that's competent and confident in what they do and he can just pin dial down to like, all right, this is, look how much you're spending here. Let's see how we can fix that. I mean, you and Tyler 
over deliver for the services that you guys have. And I love that. I really try to do that for myself, for other people. And I hate when people just give you what you pay for. And I don't hate it. I mean, hey, it's like, that's what you pay for. But when you find someone that over delivers, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's, I, I love, I love that. So anyway, so. He's Sounds cool. like you should pay us more. No, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> so love it. That's that, that there's never a better endorsement than, than a value statement like that. So that's great. Um, <clears throat> all right. So, so you mentioned, you know, looking to start other brands in your future. Um, what, uh, what, uh, when you look at the Amazon ecosystem and you see all the changes coming, like what, uh, what are you doing today? And to use a hockey metaphor, since we're talking snow, uh, to be where the puck is going to be to score versus where the puck is now. What, what's on your mind these days? You know, I'm looking for, I mean, I mean, with, with, the, with respect that happened with COVID, man, you got to really, you, I'm freeing up some cash so that way I can pivot easier, right? And getting smarter about products that I'm picking. So there's a, there's a companies that I'm working with to help me pick better products you know i'm the, so you got to know what you're good at and what you're bad at I mean, and then really face up and say hey maybe i'm bad uh at, at a you know four uh, three out of four things and you gotta if you're not good at it or you don't like doing it outsource it to someone else that's that can do it for you you know um and that's Great why, advice that's why, that's why we that's why we hired you guys because we were just yeah. sucked at it uh f- quite frankly and that's what we're doing is getting smarter about um, there is smart money and uh, smart investors that are coming into this space. You got to get, you got to be on your toes, you know, with, 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 uh, when you, when you're getting started in your Amazon business journey. I mean, you got to really, you got to grind, man, because there's people out there that are looking to take your spot. I feel like every business needs three things to run. You need finance, which you've talked a lot about with Tyler and, and focus there and solar accountant. Uh, marketing, that's what my Amazon guy does, and operations. So what's made you excel at the operations game? And talk to me a little bit about that. You know, when I have, I, I don't want to plug anybody else in that, you know, I don't, but there was a, there's a company that I, so we did like 60, 60 units in sales, like uh, in like 2016, I believe it was. I didn't really know what the hell was going on in Amazon. Like, you know, we were selling offline and on some other platforms, but like we really wanted to get into the Amazon space and couldn't figure it out. Uh, and then I plugged up with this, this mentor, someone that I connected with on YouTube, actually. I, I got YouTube at night. Sometimes I'll be in the bed and I'll just use some stuff. I just constantly keep my constantly mind learning. Going. Right, man. So I connected with this guy and I'm like, yo man. I, and, and, I, and it was like, it was a little nerve wracking to let someone else in your, business and like to let them see what's going on but he's like hey you're doing this wrong doing this wrong and i just said all right you know i just started every so this mentor that i I connected with he's like do this this and this i just trusted had faith and went out and did it and we like exploded and had a lot of growth from then until now i mean you know like with with covid i mean we had we're figuring out this whole thing i mean we had what was so crazy is that what my Amazon guy has done for us is that we made less sales, but the same type of profit because of you guys were able to keep Amazon down. I mean, Amazon, uh, the, uh, A-cost. 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 Yeah. yeah, man. So kudos to you guys for doing that, man. I mean, like, I really appreciate you guys. Well, cool. Um, so Wayne, I appreciate you coming on the podcast today. Uh, last question for you and, and I'm going to guess you're going to go with family. So, but we'll see what happens. What makes your heart sing? <laughs> My heart sing? Yeah. Um, uh, I mean like this, man, my first love was, was motorcycles, man. I mean, nice. My family's there too, but I just, I, I want to get back to like, I love motocross and dirt bikes and things like that. I couldn't tell you. I, I remember my mother telling me, you're not getting a dirt bike. <laughs> she's like you want to deal with that yeah right right but i said you know what i said i said she's like you're not getting i was like i'm not getting you a dirt bike or a motorcycle i'm not dealing with that and as long as you're living here you can't have one so i didn't see as an entrepreneur or like i didn't i heard what she said but i i heard that the two things i heard was all right so i have to buy it myself because you're not going to buy it for me 
and I have to move out because if I have it, then I can't live here. So that's what I did, man. I hustled, man. I worked um, two jobs when I was uh, 11, saved up money, bought my first dirt bike. And then when I was 14, I moved out, moved with, lived with a friend, saved up money, and bought a, my first motorcycle when I was like 17. That's so cool. that was my first love, man. I mean, I, I love my kids and my family, and I really, you know, I do everything for them. So, so that's, I, I mean, you had the family tie-in because you, you loved mom, but you loved motorcycles. So, <laughs> so that's great. Um, well, maybe I'll connect you with one of our other clients, uh, uh, Dominator. In, uh, he's, he's, he's got some uh, Harley uh, bars that he sells. So we'll have to connect you guys. Um, well, Wayne, I really appreciate you coming on the My Amazon po- podcast. It was great talking with you today. Um, not only is it a pleasure just to fill your energy, but I think you have some great advice. And the Rich Dad, Poor Dad, if, you know, we'll put a link to that in the show notes for those that haven't read that book. That is a fantastic book to read. I had my dad read it when he started his first business um, to help him out just really reset your mentality. Um, and clearly, clearly hustling works. So thanks so much, Wayne. Yeah, man. I appreciate you guys. Thanks, Pope. All right. Well, hope you hit that subscribe button and tune in for our next podcast. Thanks for watching my Amazon guy. This was the My Amazon Guy podcast with Stephen Pope. Each episode helps you grow your sales on Amazon through ideas on traffic and conversion rate improvements. Hit that subscribe button right now to tune in each week. And if you need more help, go to myamazonguy.com.